Hey, Mel Cupcakes, I have a really nice story. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Evelyn Del Rey is my major amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play, Danielle, she says, just like she always does. Just like today is any other day. She said, come on and play, Daniela. But it's not just like any other day. So I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb, ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with the stickers around the edge, her easel for painting on rainy days, and a sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. So here's this moving truck taking all Evelyn's stuff. Putting it in the truck, getting ready to move. She is waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps two at a time, just like we always do. So Evelyn and Danielle are running up the stairs, just like they always do. We sneak past grouchy Miss Miller's door. Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. Sue, who's feeding pigeons from the hall window. Senora Flores gives us each a cookie and says, it's the big day when we walk by. So Miss Senora Flores gives them a cookie and they see their other neighbors. Our apartments are almost twins, just like us. That's why I already know all the good places for hide and seek in the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds. So they're packing up and they're running around, getting ready to go. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow, while mine are pink like cotton candy. And I live with my mama, mommy and a hamster, and she has a mama, a pappy, and a cat. We're mostly the same, just like our apartments, but not after today. So their apartments are right across from each other. Danielle's apartment is, her room is pink, and Evelyn's room is yellow. We find a still empty box near the door. In no time, I am the bus driver steering us all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared except us. So they're playing, they're on a bus, they're just everything, but they keep moving everything. So there's nothing left in the room. Soon the truck outside rumbles off and there is a knock on the door. Hide, we say giggling, just like we always do. But our mother sees us before we can slip away. Time to go, Mammy says. Time to go. So Danielle's mother comes again and she said, time to go. Evelyn and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles. Faster and faster until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip and we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her, though the world is still whirling. And you can visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. So she said they can get together, talk after school, and, and they can have visits in the summertime. But I know that tomorrow everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home that doesn't match mine. So Evelyn's moving to a bigger house away from her friend Daniela. Before we leave, I spot something in the corner left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. Then she does mine just the same. So they found some stickers in the corner and they put stickers on each other as they were leaving to seal their promise of being friends. We say, patata, je patata, well, Mammy takes our photo and we do our secret handshake one more time. And then Evelyn hugs me hard. So they give each other the secret handshake and they promise to, to remain friends even though Evelyn is moving. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away so she won't be right here anymore. Aw, oh, Danielle looks so sad. She's gonna miss her friend Evelyn. They were best friends. 
Mary says not to be sad, that we will both make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the sticker's still on her cheeks. I know she'll always be my first major amiga, my numero uno best friend. Look at him waving goodbye. She knows that Evelyn's going to be her best friend, her first best real friend. The one I will always know by heart. See, Danielle is grown up and they still, they write each other letters. They're still friends. The end. Hope you liked it.